What's up guys, I'm James from the Great Gambino Channel and I'm here at E3 2014. I'm hoping to get a chance to look at Sony's Project Morpheus and Oculus's Development Kit 2, along with all the other great games that are coming out in the next couple years. Well, I'm really excited to get inside and check everything out, so hopefully I'll get you guys some good footage. So the first thing I did was head over to Sony to check out their Project Morpheus, but unfortunately it was booked up with private appointments for the rest of the day and I was unable to use it. Just capturing some footage, it looked like a ton of fun and I'm hoping to get a chance to see what it's all about in the near future. My next stop was Oculus VR, where the entire section was surrounded by glass windows, and while I was in the massive line of people, I actually saw the president of Nintendo, Reggie, hanging out in the Oculus area. Also while in line, I saw the Virtuex Omni treadmill, and I wanted to give that a try, but just like the Morpheus, it was booked up with appointments for the rest of the day. As I slowly crept closer to the Oculus VR entrance, I noticed they had a display setup of the evolution of the Oculus Rift headset from the very early stages of duct tape and styrofoam with circuit boards, and then moving on to the Crystal Cove and Development Kit 2 model that we are on route to try out for ourselves. I also wanted to make note that on the other side they had the HD prototypes from last year. When I made it inside, they were demoing four new games. Lucky's Tale, which played kind of like a Mario game, the upcoming AAA Space Fighter E Valkyrie, Alien Isolation, and Super Hot. The first game I tried was Lucky's Tale, and it was an interesting take on a VR experience because everything looked like a miniaturized model set, and the actual character that you were controlling was like an action figure. It was also pretty interesting leaning in and being able to take a better look at the character Lucky with the positional tracking. Last but not least, I finally got to play E Valkyrie, and it kicked ass. Well, that's going to be it for this little glimpse of virtual reality at E3 2014, and now I'm going to leave you guys off with a first time ever headset lens point of view of the Oculus Development Kit 2. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.